faith to Christ. We can never understand it. Our little finite minds cannot understand the infinite. Our finite minds cannot understand the mighty God. We come by simple childlike faith and put our faith in Jesus Christ. And when you do, you are born again. But it happens this way. First, there has to be the reception of the Word of God. And I believe that is conception. 1 Peter 1.23, being born again, not of corruptible seed, but of incorruptible by the word of God, which liveth and abideth forever. And then in Romans 10, faith cometh by hearing, and hearing by the word of God. Now tonight you are hearing, and you're hearing the word of God, and that's the first step. It pleased God by the foolishness of preaching, or declaration, or proclamation to save them that believe. It sounds foolish that men can stand up and use words out of a Bible and that has power to penetrate your heart and change your life. But it does because it's God's holy word. This is not an ordinary book. This is a living book, a living word. 